Okay. I just realized that a lot of the passengers and a lot of the people that is, is here is wondering what a plant scientist is doing in Antarctica. Because basically, if you look around and you see the rocks here and all the landscape, you see that there's not a lot of trees, there's not a lot of uh, flowering plants, but there is a lot of lichens. As you can see on those rocks over there, these brown and green, they're all lichens. It is known that there are a lot of um, lichens in here and as well of a couple of hundreds of mosses, but there's no flowering plant, just two species and one grass. So this project that um, we're developing here is basically knowing which is the, the capacity of this land to, to get different influx of pollen grains. So the pollen grains that are arriving here, where are they from? And if we are able to see which species would be able to, to reach in these lands. Why is this important? Uh, basically, one of the most important things in, in, these, in these centuries, the effects of climate change in, in the land, in Antarctic in particular, and what would happen if the winds that normally reach this land change direction and change the, the power. And if we can model that, we will know exactly which could be the species that would reach uh, this land. And then maybe we will then know which are the, the pollen capacity, the distribution and the dispersal capacity of these flowering plants.